Hey everyone, it's Michelle. In today's video, I will be reviewing the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46 Tinted Sunscreen. So I created a poll in my community tab of whether or not I should be trying the UV Clear Tinted Sunscreen or the UV Elements Tinted Sunscreen by Elta MD. This one ended up being the winner, so I have been trying it out. It's been rotating in my skincare routine for about a month now, and I am ready to share my thoughts with you all. In addition to this review, I will also be drawing comparisons to the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46, because this is supposed to be a dupe for this one. On the Elta MD official website, they describe the UV Clear Tinted Sunscreen as oil-free, it helps to calm and protect sensitive skin types prone to discoloration and breakouts associated to acne and rosacea. It includes ingredients that help promote the appearance of healthy looking skin. It's very lightweight and silky, can be worn with or without makeup, and it's also available in an untinted formula. So this retails for 39 US dollars. It comes in an opaque white airless pump bottle at about 1.7 fluid ounces. So it's the exact same as the Dermatology one, although as you could see by the size, even though the Dermatology one is the same amount, it's a lot larger. I know they changed the package, so maybe it is around the same size as the Elta MD, but both are 1.7 fluid ounces in airless pumps. Moving on to ingredients, starting with the filters. This is a hybrid sunscreen, so it has 9% micronized zinc oxide and 7.5% octinoxate. Moving on to additional highlighted ingredients, this contains 5% niacinamide, so vitamin B3. It is an antioxidant and it just has a multitude of benefits for the skin. It helps to control oil production, brighten the skin, reduce pigmentation, reduce the appearance of pores and fine lines, and also increases the lipid production in our skin. Really lovely benefit, so it's definitely a nice to have in a skincare product. There are a couple of notable humectants in the formula as well, the first one being sodium hyaluronate, which is a humectant, so it binds onto water and holds onto it in our skin. This also contains lactic acid, where at low concentrations, it is also a really nice humectant. It's typically a chemical exfoliant at higher concentrations, but you don't need to worry about that in the sunscreen. It's just primarily there as a humectant and also a pH adjuster. And of course, the formula also contains iron oxides, which may help protect the skin against visible light. And it's also what gives the sunscreen the tint. Elta MD also describes this sunscreen as fragrance-free and oil-free. This also is not water resistant. On the packaging, it does say that if you are going to be profusely sweating or swimming for the day, use a water resistant sunscreen. Moving on to texture, it is pretty similar to the Dermatology one, so I will put both on my hand right now. This is the Elta MD one, this is the Dermatology one. Just from dispensing the product, I could tell that the Elta MD one is a little bit darker than the Dermatology one. And actually when I blend in the Elta MD one, I do notice this has a bit of a thinner consistency, definitely lighter and not as emollient as the Dermatology one. Right now, because I am applying this on my hand, it does feel fairly similar, but on my face, it is a different story. All right, again, Elta MD Dermatology, from what I could tell on my hand at this distance, both blended into the skin really nicely. No detectable kind of cast found. My hand looks very shiny. I would say more so on the dermatology side than the Elta MD side. And my skin just looks a little bit more even compared to my hand without the sunscreens. Again, the textures between the two sunscreens are pretty similar. I would say that the Elta MD feels a little bit lighter in consistency, even though they're both kind of like lotion creams. Moving on to facial application, I applied a pump and a half all over my face and neck. I did read somewhere online that one pump is equivalent to just under a quarter teaspoon, which is usually what I use for my face and neck, but just for guarantee, I did add an extra half pump. And just like the Dermatology sunscreen, I could just apply the entire amount in one go. No need to layer with this. It's not fussy when it comes to application. It does not pill in my hairline or eyebrows. It just blends in right away into my skin tone 
feels really nice. I find it slightly lighter and less emollient in feel compared to the Dermatology one. When it comes to the finish of the sunscreen, as you can see in the cutaway, there is no detectable cast to be found. I also don't find that the tint looks orange on my skin tone. It just blends into my skin really nicely. I also noticed that there are some shimmering particles in the formula just like the Dermatology sunscreen. When it comes to the feel, I notice it sets to a tacky finish a lot more quickly than the Dermatology one. If you recall my Dermatology review, I noticed that it did feel a bit greasy to the touch at first, but if you gave it a bit of time, it did eventually set to a tacky emollient finish. It isn't as emollient, but there still is some type of moisturizing finish to it. However, I noticed right after application that my face did feel a bit sensitized as if it were becoming irritated. This didn't happen all the time when I was using the Elta MD sunscreen, but it happened frequently enough that I have noticed the association with it compared to the dermatology one where I get no irritation at all. Adding on to the finish, like I said, the tint didn't look like it was very obvious on my skin tone. There are shimmering particles in the formula, and just by me describing that finish, you would think it looks similar to the dermatology one, but I did notice that the Alta MD UV Clear Tinted sets in a way where my texture is a smidge more emphasized. It's not terrible, but I noticed it does emphasize my texture a bit more than the dermatology one. There's just something different about how they sit on my skin. And because of that difference, the shimmering particles I noticed do emphasize a bit of the texture on my skin. In terms of additional skin benefits, really, it's just the fact that because this is tinted, it provides the lightest of coverage, so it reduces some appearance of redness on my face. Face. However, I do find the Dermatology one a bit more soothing. Right now, this far into the review, it sounds like Elta MD UV Clear Tinted is not a bad sunscreen by any means, but it was when I started to apply makeup over this tinted sunscreen that that's when it went downhill. No matter if I used a brush or my fingers, very light hand, it pilled a lot. It seems to pill every time I apply makeup or if I just touch my face in general. For my final thoughts of the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46 Tinted Sunscreen, I do like that it's very easy to apply a generous amount of this sunscreen to my face and neck. It is not fussy where I have to go in with separate layers to get the tint to match my skin tone as quick as possible. It just does it automatically. It also feels really cosmetically elegant, super comfortable. Like I said, less emollient than the Dermatology one, but still has some moisturizing finish to it, and it sets to a tacky finish a lot more quickly. Another reason I like the Elta MD sunscreen is the packaging. It's a lot smaller. It's easier to throw in your bag when you want to reapply throughout the day. Like I said, compared to the Dermatology sunscreen, which has the same amount, the Elta MD one is smaller, but again, the Dermatology packaging has changed. So I don't know if it's the same size or not. So that is it for the pros. Now I'm going to move on to the cons of this sunscreen. And for me, they are quite notable. The first one being that this sensitizes my skin every so often when I use it in my skincare routine as my tinted SPF for the day. When it comes into the basics in my skincare routine, they need to be gentle, not fussy, and they absolutely cannot irritate my skin. And the fact that this does is a big no in my books. I also really don't like how easily this pills. If I were to just quickly brush my jaw or to apply a light hand of makeup. So for what I need in my skincare and makeup routine, this doesn't really work well in that regard. Also, I'm not a fan of how this slightly emphasizes the texture of my skin, especially if I have the dermatology one, which does not do that. So those are some pretty notable cons for me. So that's why even though I did enjoy using the sunscreen on application for the most part, and it felt nice despite the irritation I would sometimes get, this is personally going to be a pass for me. So because of these notable cons, I definitely prefer the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46 for my skin type. It just does not bother my skin when I use it. Again, also adapts to my skin tone very nicely, adds a bit of moisture onto my skin, makes my skin look really good, does not emphasize texture in any way, and it also costs less than the Elta MD one. And that is it for this review. As always, I hope you find content like this helpful and informative. 
If you did, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to my channel down below for future videos, leave a comment if you have any questions or recommendations, and I will see you all soon. Ciao.